very early. A lot of people thought we shouldn't have done it that early, and we did, and it turned out to be a very good thing. And the number one priority from our standpoint is the health and safety of the American people, and that's the way I viewed it when I made that decision. The health and safety of the American people, and that's the way I viewed it when I made that decision. Because of all we've done, the risk to the American people remains very low. We have the greatest experts in the world, really in the world right here, the people that are called upon by other countries when things like this happen. We, uh, we're ready to adapt and we're ready to do whatever we have to as the disease spreads, if it spreads. Uh, as most of you know, the, uh, the level that we've had in our country is very low and those people are getting better or we think that in almost all cases they're the better are getting. We have a total of 15. We took in some from Japan. You heard about that because they're American citizens and they're in quarantine uh, and uh, they're getting better too. But we felt we had an obligation to do that. It could have been as many as 42. And uh, we found that we were, it was just an obligation we felt that we had. We could have left them and that would have been very bad, very bad, I think, American people. And uh, they're recovering. Of the 15 people, the original 15, as I call them, uh, eight of them have returned to their homes, to stay in their homes until fully recovered. One is in the hospital, and five have fully recovered, and uh, one is, uh, we think, in pretty good shape, and it's uh, in between hospital and going home. So we have a total of, uh, but we have a total of 15 people, and uh, they're in a process of recovering, with some already having fully recovered. Zero. Uh, that's a pretty good job. Less than 500 people, and health officials are questioning whether that's enough, uh, comparing to other countries who have tested more than tens of thousands of people. Are you planning to test more people? Well, we're testing uh, everybody that we need to test, and we're finding very little problem, very little problem. Now, you treat this like a flu. We were, uh, in fact, I might ask one of the doctors to come up and explain it. Uh, you want to wash your hands a lot. You want to stay. If you're not feeling well, if you feel you have a flu, stay inside. Sort of quarantine yourself. Don't go outside. Uh, but there are certain steps that you can take that we won't even be necessary. You know, in many cases, when you catch this, it's very light. You don't even know there's a problem. Sometimes they just get the sniffles. Sometimes they just get something where they're not feeling quite right. And sometimes they feel really bad. But that's a little bit like the flu. It's a little like the regular flu that we have flu shots for. And we'll essentially have a flu shot for this in a fairly quick manner. Yeah, go ahead. We hope we can open it up to China as soon as possible. And we, and we hope the numbers we've been getting, we hope the numbers that we've been getting are true on China, where it really has leveled off and started to go down. Because eventually, sometime, that's going to happen. Go ahead. Thank you very much. And he wants to get back to business as usual. Flu has a fatality ratio of about 0.1%. Correct. Uh, this has a fatality ratio somewhere between 2 and 3%. Well, we, that, think, that, we, we think. think. We, we don't know exactly. So far. And the flu is higher than that. The flu is much higher than that. More people who get the flu, but this yeah. is spreading. It's going to spread maybe within communities. That's it may. expectation. It may. Does, does that... Does that worry you? Because that seems no. to be what worries the American No, because people. we're ready for it. It is what it is. We're ready for it. We're really prepared. We have, as I said, we have had we have the greatest people in the world. We're very ready for it. We hope it doesn't spread. There's a chance that it won't spread, too. And there's a chance that it will. Then it's a question of at what level. So far, we've done a great job. When you have 15 people with this whole world coming into the United States, and the 15 people are either better or close to being better, that's pretty good. All right, well.